Landed costs. In 2018 R2, we added landed cost features and streamlined processing for mid-sized businesses. This includes simplifying work done by receiving and providing the flexibility regarding the timing of landed cost receipts. To do this, we created a new landed cost screen, which provides a single location for managing and reporting on landed costs. Acumatica can accommodate several different landed cost scenarios. In this video, we will look at some of the common ones. There are three activities that need to be coordinated, receiving inventory, receiving vendor bills that relate to purchase receipts, and receiving landed cost bills that relate to one or more purchase receipts. The timing of these activities is often beyond the control of the accounting team. We need to account for scenarios where the landed cost bill arrives before and after the received inventory has been shipped to a client. To do this, Acumatica supports workflows for entering a bill or entering an estimate. To demonstrate, I start by creating two inventory items with an expected vendor cost of $100 each. I also specify weights and volumes which are used for allocating landed cost transactions. To shorten this video, I'll put both items on a single purchase receipt and automatically create the vendor bill. The purchase receipt contains an inventory transaction. I can drill into it to see that my inventory asset account increased and I created a purchase accrual. After navigating to the bill, I can release it and view the GL batch. As expected, the transaction creates an AP liability and eliminates the purchase accrual that was created when my inventory was received. In this example, my landed cost vendor sends a bill that includes costs for both items. In the Document Details tab, I add the purchase receipts and lines that relate to my landed cost bill. In this case, the landed cost code is allocated by weight. The system automatically allocates the cost. Since both items had the same weight, the amount is split evenly. To make things more interesting, I will sell one of my items before I process the landed cost and create the landed cost invoice. Using the Quick Process feature, I complete the sale, shipment, and invoicing of one of my items. After doing that, the available quantity is zero. Now I process the landed cost bill. After processing, I have an inventory transaction as well as an AP bill. Both are linked from the landed cost document. First, I examine the inventory transaction. My item that is in stock is adjusted so that inventory assets increase. My item that has already been sold debits a landed cost variance expense account because there is no asset remaining where I can attach the costs. Lastly, I locate the landed cost bill that was automatically created and release it. This transaction is straightforward. It creates a payment liability and eliminates the landed cost accruals that were created by the inventory transactions. If I look at my inventory and items, notice that the average cost of my item that was in stock reflects the vendor cost plus the landed cost. The average cost of my item that is not in stock is zero. Landed costs, making a landed cost estimate. Next I will show a transaction where we enter a landed cost estimate prior to receiving the landed cost bill. This scenario is useful for companies who turn inventory quickly and want to minimize the amount of landed cost variance. This technique allows me to more accurately track the profitability of fast-moving inventory items with landed costs. To shorten the video, I've already purchased and received an inventory item. Starting from the landed cost screen, I can enter an estimate. In this case, my landed cost vendor may not send an invoice until the end of the month and include several items on that invoice. Since I don't have a landed cost bill, I'll leave the checkbox blank and release the landed cost transaction. In this case, I get a single inventory transaction. Now, if the inventory is sold prior to receiving the landed cost bill, my costs are accurately associated with the transaction and inventory item. When I receive my landed cost bill, I create a new document and use the Add Landed Cost button to look up postponed landed costs that have been estimated. If the actual bill is different, then I can override the values and release the document. If my actual value is more or less than my estimate, then a landed cost variance is created, as illustrated here. In Acumatica 2018 R2, Landed costs include automated processing, simplified order entry, and support for all common business scenarios.
For more information about Acumatica, visit our website or contact an Acumatica partner.